Hi guys and welcome back to The Mighty Blues. My name is of course Cameron and there we have it. Delhi Alley is an Everton player after a very, very busy deadline day. The Delhi Alley transfer come out of nowhere really. We were linked with them a couple of days or so but we were linked with about 342 players so Delhi Alley's name being thrown in there wasn't much of a surprise and then all of a sudden today out of nowhere, the, the heavy talk started to come in and the likes of Fabricio Romano and various other reliable sources started to throw Deli Ali's name about and how Everton are interested in bringing in the Tottenham midfielder to the club on a permanent deal, of course. We knew it wasn't going to be a loan deal after Donny van der Beek signing early, earlier on in the day. <coughs> Pardon me. And, you know, Deli Ali becomes an Everton player, which is, is uh, you know, again, ultimately, I think, good news. You know, it's a, it, he's another player with quality. You know, another player with a point to prove, a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. You know, a little bit like Donny van der Beek, if you like. He's coming in on a two and a half year contract, uh, believed to be a free deal until he plays 20 games for the club and then it will rise to £10 million. And there was a, a bit of rumours on social media over the last couple of hours or so saying about how it could rise to, you know, up to £40 million. And what I'd say about that is if Everton do end up paying £40 million for Deli Ali then he will have been a resounding success and Everton will be in a very, very good position. So I actually hope we end up paying £40 million for Deli Ali because that means he'll have been absolutely amazing for the time that he's been here. But let's be honest, I highly doubt it would get to that stage. I think we'd probably have to win the Premier League and, and Wimbledon for it to get to that point. So at the moment, the most realistic sort of way to talk about the deal is that it's a free transfer until he plays 20 games and then we'll pay £10 million, pounds, which actually means we can't actually pay any money for him or we won't actually pay any money for him until at least the summer because there's only 18 league games remaining and he's cup-tied for the FA Cup, so we can't even play in the cup game. So we won't actually give Tottenham anything until the summer and that will be when you know the new the new uh, financial you know season starts and FFP will be a little bit more relaxed then as well. In terms of Delhi as a player... You know, I think he's lost his way a little bit at Tottenham in recent years. Obviously, under Jose Mourinho, they didn't particularly have the greatest relationship. Doesn't seem to have had the greatest relationship under Antonio Conte either. Um, and, you know, he's a player at that age now where he really, really needs to get his head down. He needs to get his head down. And if he's got any aspirations of being a successful footballer in the Premier League, then this is the time, this is the moment to get his head down and prove it. He's coming in on a permanent deal, of course, so it isn't a loan move, as I said. Um but, you know, again, 25, 26 years old, bit of a chip on his shoulder, got something to prove. You know, Deli Ali's a player who, if Everton were linked with him, you know, two, three years ago, we'd be sitting here saying, oh my God, how have we managed to pull this off? He was absolutely unbelievable. M M M Mauricio Pochettino, very, very highly rated him and spoke very highly of him when he was at Tottenham. Um, and as I said, he lost his way a little bit. You know, allegations from previous Tottenham managers that he didn't really work hard enough and he wasn't really committed as, uh, enough. That won't work at Everton. We know new manager Frank Lampard demands that commitment, demands that hard work and demands that his players give absolutely everything every time they're on the pitch. And Deli Ali will be absolutely no exception. He'll have to do that as well. Um, and, you know, I think it's also really important the impact that Frank Lampard has had on this transfer. There was a lot of talk, transfer talk over the last couple of hours or so regarding, you know, the impact that Frank Lampard has had on Deli Ali's move to Everton. And it, it makes a lot of sense because if you're Deli Ali, probably growing up as a kid, you know, wanting to be a footballer, wanting to be a success, wanting to play for his country, at that time, he'll have been looking at the likes of Frank Lampard, you know, Paul Scholes, Stephen Gerrard, players like that in that England team, thinking, I aspire to be like you. So for Deli Ali to, you know, come into Everton and be able to work under Frank Lampard, one of those managers, I think could reignite his career and that ultimately is the aim for Delhi Alley and the aim for us as Evertonians isn't it is that you know Delhi can come into the football club and, and reignite his career give him a fresh start give him a new beginning and sometimes things at football clubs just get a little bit stale sometimes they just get a little bit out of date and sometimes things just get you know a little bit to the point where where nobody's happy and I think that was what Delhi's situation was at Tottenham it was just a little bit stale I don't think any party was particularly happy with it and Delhi Alley needed a fresh start he needed a new beginning he needed an opportunity for him to go you know and grasp with both hands and, and and show what kind of footballer he is and the ability that he actually holds and i see this in a similar vein as what i saw the donny van der Beek transfer that we spoke about earlier yesterday it is now you know quarter one at night and the uh, the Mari gray transfer in the summer as well players that are coming in at a good age that have maybe been written off before 
who have really got to get their head down and improve their ability, prove themselves, prove that they've got the quality, prove that they've got what it takes to be a really good top Premier League player. I think Deli Ali will probably also have one eye on the upcoming World Cup, thinking if I can get get in here, you know, get me head down, work hard, battle, then ultimately, you know, I could have myself a, a place in the um, in the World Cup squad, you know, come the end of the year. So. You know, there's a lot to be said about this transfer. As I said, I understand why some people particularly aren't too happy about it. I get that, you know, that Deli Ali, Donny van der Beek, very similar players in that sense. However, you know, again, it's it's strength and depth. You know, there's options there. Did we particularly need another number six today rather than somebody like a Deli Ali? Probably. Could we have done with another centre half as well? Probably. But we've strengthened in that midfield area and we've brought in a player that we know has got the creativity, we know has got the ability to create chances and score goals in the Premier League. Yes, you know, he's lost his way a little bit in the past, you know, couple of years, but if he hadn't lost his way, he wouldn't be being linked with Everton. It's not like we're spending stupid money on him. His contact is a decent term, two and a half years, same as the manager, which is interesting. Um, you know, and as I said, I know there's a lot of people on social media in a little bit of uproar about it potentially costing forty million. I hope the Deli Alley deal costs forty million because if it costs forty million, it means he's been in a massive success at Everton and it means we've got some player on our hands. The reality is it probably won't cost that and at the moment until at least the end of the season he's he's coming in on a free. Um, you know, and even if he makes twenty appearances and he costs us ten million, it shows that he's doing something right. He's 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 getting in the team, he's working hard. Um and that's what he'll have to do. And, and it's a big, big opportunity for Deli Ali. It's a big, big opportunity for Everton. If we can get the very best out of Deli Ali, then we'll have a top, top quality player on our hands. And let's hope that new manager, Frank Lampard, can do that. It's certainly an exciting deal, I think, and a deal that we can be very positive about, as is the deal, you know, to bring Donny van der Beek in from Manchester United on loan. So, you know, we'll have to wait and see. We will be live tomorrow. We haven't been live today. I know we've done a couple of videos on the Lampard signing and the Van Der Beek signing. We haven't been live today. I've actually been at Toffee TV all day and I haven't stopped talking for the last however many hours because we've done various lives over the, the last few hours. But we will be live on the channel tomorrow talking about Van Der Beek, talking about Lampard, talking about Deli Alley as well. Um, so don't forget to join us for that live stream. It'll be a deadline day roundup sort of transfer uh, video as well. But I just thought we'd come on and do this little video just to sort of announce the Deli Alley transfer. So there you go. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed this one, please hit that like button. It only takes a second. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We're flying towards 6,000 subscribers now. So if you could hit that thumbs up button, it would mean a massive, massive amount to me. Big, big thank you all for watching. And we'll see you soon on the Mighty Blues.